because it has the focal length, the lens has a focal length of 10 centimeters, does that mean that it's 10 centimeters from the lens? It's because it says the focal length are right. So can I place that on the chart at 10? Yeah, that's right. That's what it means. It means who's 10 centimeters from the lens? The focal point. Yeah, the focal point. Okay. So do you think the best way to do that is to do ray tracing then? Well, we need a quantitative answer here. So the best way the to do this is the lens mirror equation. Because I'm trying to figure out the object distance. Mm -hmm. So if it's 15 centimeters to the left of the lens, does that mean that it can be like the origin of the axis? Um, I'm not sure if I quite follow you there. Because I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure out, oh, 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 no, it's 15. Okay, so let's see, you plugged in 10 for F. Well, what does F stand for? Yeah, now let's be more specific. The focal length is the distance between what and what? The focal point and the lens. That's right. The focal length is the distance between the focal point and the lens. So it would be this distance on the chart. It's always good when you're labeling a distance to physically label the beginning and the ending. It's probably better not to just say, this is 10, because we don't know 10 from where. So we want to say, this is 10 centimeters from here. So this is a good distance labeling. Now, by the way, we always want to put in signs. So let's get into the habit of putting in the sign here. So mm -hmm. when it says that the focal length is 10, that means it's 10 centimeters from the lens, not 10 centimeters from, let's say, like 0 centimeters, like from the beginning. Of the yeah, lens. that's what they mean. Um, I suppose they could have put in an axis and say the focal point is at 3 on the x-axis, and then, and then that wouldn't be the focal length. But when they say the focal length, by definition, the focal length is the distance between the focal point and the lens. Okay, good. Yeah, that's an important thing to think about. Here, they don't really seem to have an axis, so they're just giving us distances. Um, now, again, what would be the sign on this? Um, positive. And how do you know? Uh, because the focal length has to deal with, um, if it's real or not. 
no, no, if it's converging, and it is converging. Because the focal length is a property of the lens, not a property of the image. Yeah. So it has to do with whether it's a converging or diverging lens. So which one is this, converging? How do we know? Because it's diverging. Because it is told us. Good. But I still have to always put in that sign, so we're always thinking about the sign. Now, um, so what does S stand for? What's the meaning of S? The distance between the object and the lens. Yeah, precisely. We don't want to just say it's the object distance. We want to say it's the distance between the object and the lens. And what does S prime stand for? Uh, the distance between the image and the lens. That's right. So these don't stand necessarily for points on an axis. They're the distance between the image or the object and the lens. All right, that's good to clarify. So if it hadn't come out, we'd know we made an algebra mistake. Okay, so that so far was pretty uh, straightforward, just doing a lens problem. Okay. So, um, because I predicted it as a real, that's how I knew it was. But is there a way other than doing the ray tracing to figure out if it would be real or not? Oh uh, well, yeah. When you did the algebra, did S prime come oh, so out positive or negative? Out, I like, okay, so that's I okay, forgot. Yeah. So the whole point is. Um, we didn't force this to be positive, right. we just let the math tell us. Okay. Uh, and when the, uh, this was a subtraction here, it was totally possible the subtraction could have come out negative, it just didn't happen to do that. So the math tells you whether it's positive or negative. Okay. So then that's the position of after the first lines. Mm -hmm. So we got that S prime is 30, but what does S prime measure the distance between? It's the distance between the lens and the image. Well, which lens? We should have labeled all of this work was for the first lens. This was all for lens number one. So we know that there should be a distance of 30 to our first image. So our first image is over here. Well, if this distance is 30 and this distance is 20, just like you've labeled in your picture, we know this distance is 10 centimeters. So again, it's really helpful to label the beginning and end of each distance. All right, so that's the good way to put that into your picture. Um, so now that the image is to the right of the lens, is that seen as like the diverging side of the table? Ah, so now, yeah, let's go through this together now. So we haven't quite done a problem like this before. One thing to do is I think we need to fix your picture a little bit. So let's see, where did you put the focal point for the second lens? Okay, so it's the distance between the lens and the image. I mean, the lens and the point is turned the image. Right. Right, or where would it be on the left-hand side? Because every lens has two. Yeah, it would be right in there. Maybe it's not all that necessary to even draw the focal points here, because we're not really using ray tracing here. This is too complicated to do ray tracing. If I so, were to put it, though, which, is there like one that I should put? Well, it has basically two focal points. You can yeah. put it on both sides. Okay. So since this has a 20 centimeter focal point, one of the focal points for the second lens would be right here, right smack dab where this is. And the other one would be over here, 20 centimeters from here. 
but maybe I'm not even going to put in the focal point for this one. I don't know if, uh, if I really even need that. For that matter, there's two F1s. We could have put an F1 on the left-hand side, too. Yeah. But we're, we're just basically doing this by algebra. A multiple lens system is so complicated that we're not going to try to use the table or much. We're just going to do this by algebra. Okay. So we don't hardly even need. All we need is the image to know where the objects and the images are. 